It looks like things are back to normal. What's going on? It never ends. That's... that's me. Oh God! I gotta, I gotta get out! I got... know what's going on. You must live and find the truth. It is already too late for me. Colden? What's going on? Was it a hallucination? Please take a seat and be quiet, Mr. Pierce. I'll be with you in a moment. Stop whatever the hell you're doing and turn around now. No, it can't be. No! You son of a bitch! What did you do to her? I wish I could have done more experiments on you, Mr. Pierce. <laughs> I said, what did you do to her? You shouldn't be sorry for all your friend. You should envy her. Murderer! This madness must stop! Holden?
What did they do to you? He gave him the gold and I, the azure. I don't see him very often anymore. The green is stronger. Are you feeling ill? I'm here, but no. No. Let's get you out of here. It comes in my dreams. Our minds melt like colors on a palette. Come with me. It's is of the oldest green. A violent living, vibrant. A sea green, maybe. No. No. Mrs. Hawkins, we must go before someone finds out. Oh, but he will. He always knows these things when it's about me. He told me to get you out of here. I can tell a lie when I hear one. Well, I don't give a damn who you're talking about. We go now. He will know. He will find us. One more reason to hurry. Have I seen you before? Can you walk? Maybe. Then let's go. It was in your studio. What? You painted me. That's where you saw me. Of course. The men in white are coming. You mean the guards? This way. Follow me. What the? Oh no. Hey. This way. Come out of your hiding place. Okay. machine. It's the green. The decaying one. The gas? Yes. It's not good for living beings. We don't have time for that. I am not moving until the wrong is set right. Damn it! I'd be better off finding a tool. Crazy island. You are going nowhere. Don't get between me and my wife. Edward! Nobody tells me what to do with my wife. How dare you! 
No parent should have to bury their child, knowing it's me that put him there. The guilt, guilt will never go away. I feel your pain. I'll do anything to get him back. Anything. My work was what lured me here in the first place. It began showing me things, things I never should have painted. Things Charles should never have seen. What am I to you? I took care of you, saved you from your miserable life. You'll never find a man better than me. You owe me. I owe you nothing. We'll leave now. You're 
are not going anywhere. You are mine! It's over now. Mr. Pierce, we were waiting for you. Good. Sarah doesn't have much time. What are you doing here? <laughs> Did you think I would let you confront the occult without supervision? This is too dangerous for a bookworm like you. Algernon, I need to talk to Mr. Pierce. Very well, Sarah. I will be in Charles Hawkins' office. You seem different. Yes. When I woke up this morning, my mind was sharper. Cleaner. I can still hear the voice calling me. It is so strong. So ancient. Enticing. Dangerous. I may never be able to escape his grip, but for now, I can keep it at bay. I know what I owe you, Mr. Pierce. But I can't come back to Boston with you. There is nothing left for you on Dark Water. Except my sins. Sarah, we all know you're not responsible for the actions of your husband. And what about the Wanderer? The creature who killed Francis Sanders. So, he met his fate. You understand, yes. I must find it and kill it. I am the only one who can end its slaughter. No. No, you will come with me to Boston. I owe you no obedience. This isn't about what you want or don't want to do. You would risk destroying the world just because you can't face the consequences of your actions. I am willing to atone for my sins. No, you're just trying to erase all proof of the mistakes you've made. I know what I have done. I will not rest until the creature is sent back to its dimension. You've recovered from yesterday's condition. That must mean you can fight it. We must find something that will stop you from relapsing. Algernon knows of a way to protect me. Help him find what he seeks and we may all survive this battle. All right, I'll help you. Seeing you again. Ah, it's you. I'm here for her, not you. I don't care why you're here. Your usefulness is the only thing that matters. How do we protect Mrs. Hawkins from the influence of the forces that claim her? By following Charles Hawkins, that imbecile of a thief, of course. What do you mean? 
he found something. An amulet. The symbol engraved on it could protect Sarah. Could? We are dealing with forces that by far surpass what your intellect can process. Feel free to ask me any question regarding the matters that exceed your grasp. The dagger with the strange sign. Was it you who sold it to Francis Sanders? If you are referring to the dagger of the ancients, then yes, it was me. Why? Do you know what he intended to do with it? Francis was primarily a collector of occult objects. He liked rare items such as the dagger. <laughs> But I doubt he knew its purpose. It allowed me to send the creature you call the Shambler back into the painting. Fascinating. But I am afraid that this might only be short-lived. You mean that thing could come back? Yes, that is why I am looking for a more... permanent solution. It must never come back. A genius like you must have already found a way to get rid of this creature, yes? I sense your sarcasm, but it does happen that, yes, I do have a solution. I think I can destroy it, but for that I must approach the creature. And to be able to do so, I need the key to Rie. Another one of your baubles. It is no bauble, unbeliever. It is a very powerful protection able to repel very ancient forces, much more effective than your cult. What does it look like? It is a golden amulet, bearing very ancient inscriptions and an elder sign at its center, a star with an eye in the middle. I've already seen that sign. Where can we find it? Therein lies the problem. That foul thief Charles has hidden it somewhere. I found this drawing among his personal effects, I think that it has something to do with the location of the amulet. I'll follow this lead. You continue searching. That is what I intend to do. As for you, return here the second you find it. I don't want it to disappear again. How are you, Bradley? Ah, it's you, Pierce. I'm just worried about Marie. I mean, Dr. Colden. Have you had any news? I'm sorry. I haven't heard anything from her. But I'm sure she's fine. She must be in the hospital, or home. I already checked. She wasn't at home. And no one's seen her in Riverside since you set the cellars on fire. You know more than you're telling me. I'm certainly not as good a detective as the great Edward Pierce, but I still know when someone's lying to me. I'm sorry. Truly. It's that slug, Fuller. I swear I'll shoot him. What do you say, Pierce? Are you with me? I'm sure Dr. Colden would have wanted you to help fight the cult. Fuller is just a link in the chain. It's their leader that must be tracked down. Marie devoted the last three months fighting against this monster, and it cost her her life. He killed her, Pierce. 
Don't presume to understand her motivations when you obviously paid no attention to her crusade. We must do something for those who are still alive, Bradley. Sarah is still in danger as long as the cult is active. We need to see this through, otherwise Marie's death will have been in vain. You're, uh, the voice of reason, Pierce. As always. Drake was looking for. It's you again. I think I've found what we're looking for. Let me see that. Yes, that's it. It's perfect. We are saved. I must tell Mrs. Hawkins. Yes, do that. I have it. It's a strange amulet. I hope it will protect you, considering that nothing will help you change your mind. You must understand. I already went too far. What have you seen that's so terrible you convinced yourself that you had to risk so much? I can't tell you now. This story is going to end badly. Yes, Chief West is here with Sullivan. Bradley. You take care of Sarah. I will deal with them. You sure? All right. I've been hearing about you a lot lately. You seem to enjoy causing trouble. Nice job, Chief. You got me. Great police work. You can try to play smart with me all you want, Pierce. Witnesses have identified you as the one who set fire to Riverside. Witnesses? How convenient. <coughs> That's not the whole story, is it? I don't care about your stories. Save them for the judge. You know, us cops, we base our investigation on facts and testimonies. 
You might want to try that next time. <laughs> you bet I will. You know, I've heard a lot about you, Mr. Pierce. All good, I hope. It appears that you've been involved in a variety of misdemeanors since your arrival on Dark Water. Entering private property, twice. Aggression, insulting behavior, and to top it all, arson. Listen, Chief West, I realize that I'm in your jurisdiction, and that you don't like guys like me. However, I think that these accusations are exaggerated and that we would benefit from working together. If that means a confession from you and therefore less paperwork for me, then we've got a deal. I'm serious. Can't you see what's going on right under your nose? Yeah? So what's going on that I don't know about? There's a bunch of fanatics who are attacking this island's most ancient beliefs. I suppose these are the ones who desecrated the statue of St. Brendan. While I'm looking at a man who burned down a hospital. Influential people from your community are part of it, operating in the shadows. You got a real imagination, detective. There was a tunnel leading to their hideout under the Hawkins mansion, but it caved in. Oh, how very convenient. Right. Enough time wasted. Come on, I'll show you to your new residence. I'll be back later to ask you some questions. I hope that you'll make the right choice and confess to everything. It would be as unpleasant for you as it would be for me if I had to adopt more advanced questioning. I have no doubt about that. Good night, Mr. Pierce. Mr. Pierce. The Truth Seeker. We meet at last. Who's there? of the scale of my terrestrial form, but as a reminder of the immensity of my knowledge, which I came to share with you, human. Do not struggle. You will not be able to speak or escape my influence. Your mind has begun to expand. Your dreams have been gently shepherded by the being they call the Oracle. But it is your curiosity and your fate that have led you up to this moment. You are here to accept the knowledge and follow the path that leads to your freedom. This is an offer that the likes of you, particularly those with such rare characteristics, cannot refuse. The more you bend your human spirit to make it able to receive the truth, the closer you will come to embrace his power. Where is the Oracle, Truth Seeker? Would you like to see her? Where is the Oracle? Is she not? 
the very object of your quest. I'll let you see for yourself. But do not forget. Your fate has already been written. Our paths shall cross again, truth seeker. You know the risk, Sarah. If you happen to use your powers again, you, you may lose more than your life. It is not about me, but innocent lives. I hope that your sources are reliable. The bootleggers have the painting. If the dimensional shambler is to appear, he will do it here. <gasps> the shambler! I knew it! No! Not again! Algernon, come back! Where is Algernon? And the Shambler.